Dear students, uh, I am going to explain how to analyze acid radical and base radical in ammonium and bromide salt. Okay, here yeah, just observe here. It is ammonium bromide salt. Okay, first step is we should write preliminary test for this salt. What is the preliminary test? First you should write state. What is the state of this salt? It is crystalline. Okay, just touch and it feels rough. Okay, then it is considered as crystalline. Then you should write crystalline. Then what is the color of this salt? It is white. Okay, so you should write white. Then solubility test. Okay, next take a pinch of salt in a test tube and then add water and shake well ok it should shake like this ok then you get clear solution ok suppose if you get clear solution it is soluble otherwise it is not soluble then you should write one line therefore the given salt is soluble in water under cold condition ok it is for preliminary test ok next one is analysis of acid radical ok first you should do first do acid radical first take test tube and add pinch of salt and add dilute sulfuric acid Okay, just observe the test tube. Is there any reaction? No. Here there is no reaction here. So it indicates that no brisk effervescence here. So it indicates that first group acid radical absent. Okay, so carbonate is absent. Then go to second group acid radical. For second group acid radical, you should take dry test tube. Okay, suppose some water molecules present inside the test tube. Okay, you should dry. How to dry this test tube means you should be like this. Test tube is dry now, right? Now you should add pinch of salt in a test tube. Okay, then add concentrated sulfuric acid here concentration concentrated sulfuric acid is there just add few drops ok just observe here we get reddish brown fumes ok just observe students so it indicates that Second group acid radical present may be bromide. We are minus. Do the confirmatory for bromide. Okay, take salt solution in a test tube. Then add few drops of silver nitrate solution. In pale yellow PPT, it indicates that. Okay, bromide is confirmed. Okay, now add ammonium hydroxide slide excess. Okay, suppose if you add ammonium hydroxide, the low PPT is partially soluble. It is not completely soluble, partially soluble. It indicates that okay, the given salt contains bromide ion. Okay. So, acid radical is bromide, we are minus. The confirmation of acid radical, now we will do basic radical. Okay, basic radical, first you should do zero group basic radical analysis. Zero group is ammonium ion is present. Okay, take pinch of salt in a test tube, then add sodium hydroxide. NaOH solution. Okay, then boil it. 
by the solution. By the solution, I smell the vapors like this. Okay, got pungent smell. And glass rod diffusing, okay, just glass rod diffusing concentrated SCL and expose. See, just observe here. Get dense white fumes. It indicates that zero group basic radical present. It indicates that ammonium ion is present. Now we will do confirmation test for ammonium. Okay, just uh, take a pinch of salt in a test tube, then add water. Okay. Now we get it what salt is and add Nestler's VH. We add necklace reagent, uh, brown color, precipitate, and then add some little amount of sodium hydride. Sodium hydride. So just observe here, this brown PPT settled at the bottom of the test tube. Okay, it indicates that ammonium ion is confirmed. So Okay students, the given side is ammonium bromide and its formula is NH4BR.